another underlined function question. So go right in. This is a little bit bigger of a paragraph, but here we go. In the early days of television in the 1940s, many people thought that U.S. television programs would rely on the financial support of ad agencies and commercial sponsors, much like radio did. But, so they thought one thing and now they think something else, advertisers hesitated to jump into a new space, particularly at a time when the manufacturing of new television sets was stalled due to the U.S.'s involvement in World War II. So this is some sort of problem. Broadcasters like the National Broadcasting Company needed to persuade advertisers to support their programming despite not knowing whether there would be a robust television audience to begin with. So, okay, it's just kind of presenting a problem. So let's see. Problem. Uh, it compares the beginnings of radio programming with the beginnings of television programming in the United States. I mean, maybe very barely by saying that radio was was good and supported and, and television wasn't. But look at that underline. Would you really call that a comparison? We know that comparisons are one of our biggest kind of trap answer categories. So they just use the word. And this does not feel like a comparison here in this underline. Maybe the whole passage is kind of doing that. But no, this is a stretch. B, it identifies a specific reason behind some advertisers' hesitance to support the tel uh, support television. This is a great example of a question or a, a choice where um, turn it into a question, right? This is a very powerful strategy. It identifies a specific reason. What is the specific reason? Well, it's the manufacturing is stalled. The fact that I can just point to something that answers that kind of question I conjured out of that choice is a really, really good sign. I use this strategy all the time, even when I don't think it out loud. I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to turn these choices into questions that have much more direct answers than the stupid question they gave me, which is, what's the function of the underlying portion, right? That's a vague open-ended question, but this checks out. So that, that seems good. Let's look at the, the other ones. See, it describes how broadcasters, how broadcasters attempted to convince advertisers to support television. Another question choice, right? How did broadcasters try to convince advertisers? Well, it says later that they did try to persuade them, but how did they do that, right? So first of all, there's nothing in the underlying portion that answers that question, but I don't think there's anything in the passage that does that either. And so if they were asked about the passage as a whole, what is the main purpose of the passage? I would still be able to get rid of this choice because the word how here is not right. They say maybe that broadcasters attempted to convince them, but I don't get the how. And the how is really, really important. And so these words, you got to notice them when you see them in answer choices. They can really help you decide whether you're, you've got a real live answer that could work or it's just a trap. Uh, D, it explains uh, the, why a type of television uh, programming was popular at the time. Why was this particular thing popular? Well, first of all, let's even back up the question. What, what type of television programming was popular? I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything, right? The whole point is it's World War II. They don't have TVs. So I, I, this has got a bunch of problems. Yeah. So it's B, but you really got to latch onto that strategy. I know maybe you can get this right without thinking in those terms, but it is so useful when the passages get really dense and hard to understand to be able to basically rephrase the question so that you are thinking about and answering something that is much more direct, much more specific. So that look for words that are question words, but also like you can do that in a lot of places on the SAT is turn your answer choices into specific questions that you try to answer with the passage.